must know her as Grandma Edens because she married Whitey Edens after Grandma Larson, Grandpa Larson died. Actually, 40 years after Whitey Larson. Honestly, she married her first husband in 1940. She married her second husband in 1940. Oh, I remember. Whitey. Okay. Ollie's dad's name was Allie, A L L E. Do we know? Allie and Ollie. Mother's name was Margaret. I didn't know that when I made this up. Bertha's dad's name was Hendrik Hendrickson II. Sometime between this generation and this generation, you can see that the name changed. We don't know why, we don't know how, but we know it changed. Bertha, Grandma Bertha, just a little went, Americanization. Was a Henderson, not a Henderson. Her dad's name was Henderson. Her mom's name was Carolyn Ingalls. Okay. Carolyn Ingalls? Dad's yeah. side yeah. of the Ingalls Wilder. <laughs> Herman Anton, that was dad's name. His dad's name was Anton Herman. They were very creative with names, as you can see. Some of the family was very creative, as you're going to see a little later. His mother's name was Mary Elizabeth Rogers. Dad's grandfather's name was Anton Anthony. Why two, why two Tonys, we don't know. Yeah. His mom's name was Maria Mary Salmon. But notice, his name is Anton Tony. Her name is Maria Mary. Yeah. Weird. They ran out of names. Uh, yeah, you can sell records, right? Mary Elizabeth's dad's name was John Rogers. His, her mom's name was Mary Bartley. John was born in Ireland. Mary was. Oh, okay. So was Mary. I didn't know that. Sure. Fight, fight, fight. Okay. <laughs> okay, next slide. They met here and married, but they were both. Yeah, but they were both from Ireland. Wow. Okay. Now, this is. I don't know what they say. Uh, Henry Meese. That's the earliest Meese we have traced to, and I didn't even give him credit. My brother Tom is the one that did all this. We never knew it. He never told any of us, and we didn't find out until Cindy was going through his papers after he passed away. Go, go through his papers. We found out about it two weeks ago. <laughs> but it's a real mystery to us why he didn't say anything. Yeah. Anyway. I don't think it was yeah, done. He's, you know, he likes to, if he's like me, he likes to be done and stuff. Somebody said that maybe he thought he was going to surprise us someday. Yeah. We waited just a little too late. <laughs> Henry Meese married Anna Catherine Herding. Sometime between 1700 and 1705, which means that they were both born yeah. back in the 1600s. He is great grandfather Meese to the sixth power. Yeah. That's six oh, that's greats crazy. before grandfather. That's not including father and grandfather. So you actually have eight family generations here. We don't know how many children he had. We don't know, do know he had one son. Uh, they, were both, they were both born in Prussia. Prussia is North Central and Northeast Germany. Just below Denmark, right on the Adriatic Sea, and right west of the Polish border. That's where Prussia was. Northeast and North Central. Is that um, close to the Black Forest? Do you know if it's close to the Black Forest? Oh. Uh, yes, next one. And the son's name was... He mentioned was it, that's why I was wondering. I don't know why. John Henry Meese. So we go from Henry to John Henry. They had really weird names of his friend, Joe Johan. He married Anna Maria Munterferi oh, okay. in Prussia. They were both born in Prussia, they both died in Prussia, they were married in Prussia. They had five children. I don't have their names right off the bat. Uh, he is great grandfather Meese to the fifth power. So five greats before grandfather. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, Vanna. <laughs> their son, Henry Meese. So we have Henry, John Henry, Henry. 
<laughs> married Anna Margarita Walter. Either in 1765 or 1766. He was born in 1744, died in 1806. She was born in 1745. I couldn't pick up her death date, but I think Tom has it somewhere. He was great grandfather and great grandmother, Mies, with, to the fourth power. Do you have anybody in the Civil War? Not that I know. We didn't believe in war. <laughs> They're pacifists. We're all peacemakers. Yeah. Their son, George John Conrad Meese. Uh, he married Theresia Johannesconnect in 1792. Is she German? <laughs> Born in 1766, died in 1840, born uh, in 1774, both were born and died in Prussia. They had nine children. That's going to be a familiar number. Great grandfather and great grandmother Mies to the third power. The next one is John Francis Anthony Mies. That's mine. My brother Fran. My brother Tony, sitting over there. He married Anna Maria Angela Teresa Schmidt. What is with this adding all the names? He was born 20th, uh, January 20th, 1806. Died November 4th, 1870. He died in Iowa. This is our first traits into the United States. And they came right to Iowa. She was born uh, June 25, 1808. Um, I believe she died in Prussia, but don't quote me on that. Great grandfather and great grandmother Mies to the second power. They had ten children, so the previous generation had nine. This one had ten. Wow. John Francis Anton Mies the second. Again, all these names. Mary uh, Maria Mary Solomon. Born July the 3rd in Prussia, died in Maple River, Iowa. So this next generation also came to Iowa. The previous generation didn't all come to Iowa. Some of them stayed. Mary was born in 1843 in Prussia. She died August 25th, 1909 in Iowa, Maple River, Iowa. Great grandfather, this is the great grandfather, the legitimate great grandfather of niece and mother. Okay, one more. <laughs> They had ten children, so that's Come on, Molly. nine, ten, ten. Okay. okay. Uh, Anton Herman, this is our granddad. I never knew him. Did you ever know him, Jody? No. Slam! Yeah. Honey, he died with our dad. He's he only nine months old. Yeah. Okay. You didn't look at that. Yeah. Born in eighteen sixty two in Prussia. Died October twenty fourth in Boone. Uh, 1898. And so yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's the No, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Mary Elizabeth, she was only 36, you're right. October 7th, 1860. I have her in Bloomington. Oh, wow. Okay, all right. Uh, died May the 11th, 1924 in Boone. This is Grandfather Mies. And the next one, Herman and Margaret. Yay! Okay, next set. The next group is mom's side of the family, Margaret Larson's side of the family. We call it the Henderson side, but we're going to start off with Hendrickson. Someday we'll answer that question. Hendrick Hendrickson and Christy Lars' daughter married Lars in Norway daughter? Wow. Uh, sometime between 1810 and 1815, which means that they probably were born in the late 1790s. Uh, born 1790 in Eige, Norway. There are about half a dozen little places in Norway called Eige, uh, and they're in different places. I don't know why. I would suspect it means uh, it means cold or mountains or the sea in Norway. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Christy Lars' daughter was born in 1970 in Eggestjoin, Norway, and there are two or three Eggestjoins in Norway too. Did I say 1790? I mean 1970? Okay. Uh, great grandfather Henderson to the third power. So it's great, great, great grandfather. 
Their son, Hendrik Hendrickson I, married Bertha Molina Helder's daughter. Before these generations, in Norway, last names changed all the time because if your that's, dad's name was really Helder, you became Helder's daughter. If your dad's name was Helder and you were a boy, your last name became Helder's son. Oh. Henrik was born July 14, 1825 in ID. Uh, died in 1915 in Lisbon, Illinois. I don't even know where Lisbon is. Yeah. So it's right there by Newark and where Grandma was from. That's where he died. Yeah. He's buried in that in that uh, cemetery. Yeah. Uh, Bertha was born June 11, 1833, in House Noy, and that is an island I know. Uh, and they had seven children. Okay. Their son, Hendrik Hendrickson II. Now, the other one was first, right? I hope. Okay. He married Carolyn Ingalls. Born June 1st, 1855. Um, Hendrik was born in Norway. Right after they got married, they came to the United States. He married Carolyn Ingalls. They had six children. Yeah. Okay, one more. We're almost done, Jack. <laughs> no, you were wrong back there. Bertha Henderson had more than three children. Was our grandmother. Uh, the, the lady that we refer to as Grandma Edens. This is Bertha Henderson. She married Oli Larson. Oli. I don't know that name. Uh, born, Bertha was born in 1879 in Sheridan, Illinois, which is near Lisbon, as Fred just pointed out. Oli was born in 1877 in Norway, Iowa. Not Norway, Norway. Oh, no way. Norway, Norway Illinois. Norway, Illinois. Norway, Illinois. Norway, Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't, isn't that ironic? He yeah. died in 1998 in Williamsburg, Iowa. Wow. He died of, the, the, during the, of the flu epidemic in 1919. And he died in January. And mom was 16 the 21st of October, the following 21st of October. Okay. So she was only 15. They had two children, uh, Otto and Margaret. Me about that all the time. Uh, Uncle Brad? <laughs> Some of you may know Uncle Brad, right? The Larsons from Rock Island? Yeah, you guys from Rock Island. Okay. Is there one more? Take a look. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to have a little marathon. I'm going to ask a member of each of uh, uh, my family, my brothers and sisters, to introduce their kids that are here, and their kids can introduce their kids, and on and on and on. Uh, so, uh, anybody in the family can do it, uh, but the oldest one can do it if he or she would like to. Go ahead, Jody.